Hello and welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle. Each week I'll be uploading a 5 minute video explaining as simply as possible the world around us. Today in 5 Minute Geography we're going to be looking at the reasons why the Sahara Desert is growing at such a rapid rate. We're going to look at the Sahel region, a region that stretches along the southern edge of the Sahara Desert from the Atlantic Ocean right through to the Red Sea. In 1950, the region was home to 31 million people, while today it's home to over 100 million people. This rapid population growth, expected to triple by 2050, has major impacts on the resources available in that region. The Sahel region is an area of 2.6 million kilometers squared of arid and semi-arid land. Now, what does arid mean? Arid basically means land without moisture. This overuse of resources and deforestation, combined with climate change, has led to soil erosion and desertification. Desertification is the spread of desert. Currently, the Sahara Desert is advancing into the Sahel at a rate of between 5 kilometers and 10 kilometers a year. Soil erosion and desertification in the Sahel are largely caused by human activities such as intense farming, things like overgrazing, overcropping and deforestation. This of course being triggered by population growth. As these activities are carried out, soil becomes weathered and exposed to extreme sunshine and wind. Until the second half of the 20th century, overgrazing was not a large problem in the Sahel. Nomadic farmers would move their animals to areas where there had been rainfall. All of this movement prevented certain areas from being overused. However, a 20 year period between 1950 and 1970 saw an increase in rainfall, leading to greater amounts of vegetation for cattle to graze. Herd sizes then increased and food supply became more stable as a result. Nomadic farmers therefore began to settle in one location, fencing their cattle in and allowing cattle to graze the same area of land for a longer period of time. Young trees, shrubs are also destroyed by grazing. The animals' hooves have compacted the soil, further destroying its structure. The increasing sparse cover of grass increased the level of erosion and allowed desertification to occur. Overcropping occurs when land is continuously farmed which drains nutrients from the soil, making it less fertile. The soil becomes dry, dusty and is easily removed by wind and rain. Like overgrazing, overcropping has been caused by rapid population growth in the Sahel region. This has increased the demand for food. Despite improvements in farming methods, many areas of the Sahel are being continuously overcropped and not properly fertilised. Farmers in many countries in the Sahel have been forced into overcropping. Many of the Sahel countries took advantage of cheap loans being offered by developed countries in the 1960s, but are now struggling to repay them. They have had to increase the amount of cash crops produced. These are crops that are grown to sell on the international market, often to pay off debts. The land use of these plantations is intensively cultivated as a monoculture, meaning the same crop is grown each and every year. As a result, each year the same particular nutrients are taken from the soil. The plantation workers live and use the land on the edges of the plantation to grow their own food. The land has never been left idle. The soil becomes dry and dusty, causing the soil to blow away. Another factor is deforestation, and deforestation occurs where large areas of forests are cut down, leaving the landscape bare. As well as binding the soil together, trees provide natural protection from the intense sunshine and wind. Once the trees have been removed, the soil is weakened and dried, allowing mass movement to occur. When rain falls in the region, it tends to be in short, heavy bursts, which can wash away the weakened soil in flash floods and landslides. As the population rises, more and more trees are cut down to make way for agricultural land and also for firewood. Generally, the trees that are cut down are not replaced. The combination of overgrazing, overcropping and deforestation has led to much of the soil in the Sahel becoming useless. Land is abandoned, causing the desert to spread over the vacant farmland. Currently, between 12 and 18 million people are starving in the region. This figure is increasing significantly 
each year as droughts are increasing in both frequency and intensity. So that covers it. We looked at the three reasons why desertification is wreaking havoc in the Sahel region. I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on future content. And again, if you'd like me to cover any specific topic, please put it in the comment section below.